week three, week three, week three, week three. Let's see how it goes. This week, um, I'm kind of interested in my numbers because TMI, but it is um, that time of the month starting. Um, so I'm kind of interested in my blood sugar and my ketones the most. My weight, we'll talk about that. I just took it, but let's go take my ketones and my blood sugar real quick. And just like that, she ready for the day. <laughs> um, we're gonna go upstairs and test my ketones and blood sugar, and then we have goals to set. So grab your notebooks, your pens, your goals, wherever those are, and let's get going. So I definitely knew that my numbers this week were going to be a little bit different um, just because I did start my menstrual cycle um, actually just this morning. But I kind of forgot that when I took my blood sugar. So I was like, why in the world is it so high? But that makes sense. I just did some quick Googling. Now I don't know enough on this topic to actually like create a whole video or really, really educate you guys. Um, but it seems like during the second phase of our cycle, um, our insulin is higher and our blood sugar is spike, which I kind of knew, but I also forgot a little bit. I will link a few um, websites down below that I just read a few quick things. Um, so the 104 blood sugar, I'm not gonna be too concerned about. It's just kind of cool because obviously I wasn't tracking my blood sugar before and now kind of seeing it trend, I don't know. It's just pretty interesting. And we're back into ketosis, friends. That makes me super happy. Okay, so let's talk about my weight real quick. I was 209.0 this second week because I was kicked out of ketosis, gained a little bit of weight back. And then this week I was 208.4, which is a 0.6 pound loss. Again, my body is going to be holding on to a little bit more fluid and I'm gonna have more bloating due to being on my menstrual cycle. That is just the natural occurrence of things. Um, so always take that into consideration on your weight loss health journey. That is going to affect things. Um, even if it's just a little bit, just like my blood sugar, it's going to affect my weight a little bit. Now is the time to look into our June goals and then let's set some July goals so we can continue getting things done. June's goals, they were having four coffees at Scooters, staying in ketosis, three meals with no snacking, weight loss, and continuing with supplements. Of those five, I met four of them, I think. Um, so staying in ketosis, I what I meant by that wasn't like accidentally getting kicked out. I meant more of like purposely having a non-keto meal that I knew would kick me out of ketosis. So I'm really not taking the accidental rubble ice cream kicking me out as being out of ketosis, if that makes sense. So I stayed in ketosis, or I tried to be in ketosis the whole time. Uh, three meals with no snacking. I've actually been doing um, two meals and on the weekdays. On the weekends, I've been doing the three meals with no snacking. And then obviously I lost a little bit of weight and then continuing with supplements. Again, I went from 207.4 to 209, now to 208.4. So I'm still a pound up from where I was, but that's okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's awesome. All right, friends, let's set some July goals. Um, I would like to continue taking my supplements. 
Oh, I forgot to talk about the Scooters coffee. So I've definitely had more than four Scooters coffees, but I have changed my order completely. So what I have been getting now instead of, I used to get a sugar-free hazelnut or caramel, whatever, breve and medium. And that was probably 10 to 15 grams of carbs. Now I'm just getting a latte with heavy cream and no flavoring. I put my own sweetener in it and that I, I think has really helped me quite a bit. First off, the heavy cream cuts out on the, uh, the sweet, sweeteners. <laughs> the heavy cream cuts out on any extra carbs and then obviously I'm not adding in the sweeteners which were like four grams of carbs per pump. So really just trying to cut back on that and still cut back on the coffee intake but you know we'll get there we'll get there continue with the weight loss i think my goals this month are going to kind of be a lot of the same thing i still want to lose weight continue taking my supplements i'm not putting a coffee goal on there because i switched my order and i feel more comfortable with what i'm ordering now stick to a cleaner keto i was really happy actually to see the 0.5 on the ketone because I yesterday I had a piece of the Aldi keto bread. Um, I just needed something really, really quick while we were running out the door um, for breakfast. And yeah, it didn't kick me out of ketosis, which was pretty cool um, to see that. But I do need to stick to a cleaner keto. It just makes me feel a lot better. And it's, it's not that bad for me. Stick to a cleaner keto. I'm not going to put the three meals with no snacking because I've already been doing two, me two meals with no snacking, so I'll just kind of continue that trend. And then, what's something I want? Let's challenge ourselves. What is something that would be super challenging for me this month? Not like push me over the edge and make me fall off the wagon, but what's something that I could challenge myself with? This might not seem like a challenge to most people um but there are a lot of times i don't get home until eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night after i have work and then we offer horse riding lessons to people three nights a week or to kids three nights a week and that kind of takes a toll on like my evening home life routine so i'm gonna put cook at home five days a week or yeah five days per week and the reason the reason I say cook at home is because a lot of the times, like if I'm not home, we just grab something from fast food or we all just kind of do our own thing. And I would really like to be able to either the night before prepare like a casserole or have something ready to go in the freezer or something like that that we could cook at home so that we are not wasting our money on going out to eat because it gets so expensive. Um, even if we're just doing it individually, like separately, it, it's still so stinking costly. And even if I do like get just the meat and a side salad, there's always things in those um, dressings and stuff that we shouldn't have. And it's not always the best quality meat too. Granted, I don't buy the best quality meat, I buy the cheap stuff, but it's still probably better than like the burgers and things you buy from fast food. All right, I think we have our July goals. I am beyond happy with my numbers this morning. I lost weight and I'm back in ketosis, which is the two things I really, really wanted. And I learned something about my blood sugar and my menstrual cycle, which is awesome because nobody ever teaches us about those things. So that's unfortunate, but we learn as we grow. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you next week for week four of my keto reset. And if you guys are following along, drop your progress in the comments below or shoot me an email. Bye.